Hi. In this video, I show you how to backup the contents of a file share or NAS with Nikivo Backup and Replication. Before creating a file share backup job, you need to add the file share to the inventory of your Nikivo Backup and Replication instance. To do so, go to Settings. Click the Inventory tab. Then click the plus icon to open the Add Inventory Item Wizard. At the Platform step, select File Share and click Next. At the Options step, create a display name for the file share, and choose the appropriate connection type. The connection type can be either SIFS, also known as SMB, or NFS. Next, assign a transporter by selecting it from the corresponding drop-down list, then provide the path to the share. If you select the SIFS connection type, you will need to input the username and password to the SIFS folder. Click Finish to save your changes and add this file share to the inventory. Now that the file share has been added, you can begin creating a backup job for it. Switch to the Data Protection Dashboard, and click the plus icon in the top right corner of the Jobs pane. Click Backup for File Share to open the Backup Wizard. In the Source step, select the share you want to backup. If you need to backup only specific folders, hover over the share in the right pane and click the Edit icon. In the dialog that opens, you can browse the share's contents and specify the folders you want to backup. In this case, I'm marking only three folders for this backup job. Click Next to proceed to the destination step. Select the storage target where you want to send the backup data. You can store backups in local folders, network shares, public cloud platforms, S3 compatible storage targets, and to duplication appliances. Click Next to configure scheduling and retention settings. If you want this job to run only ad hoc, enable the Do Not Schedule, Run On Demand option. Otherwise, disable it and define one or more schedules for the backup job. The Prioritize Schedules option is useful in case there are overlapping schedules. When it's enabled, Nikivo Backup and Replication processes overlapping schedules based on their priority, with the highest priority given to yearly schedules by default. You can run your file share backup job on a daily, weekly, monthly, yearly, or periodic basis, or chain it to an existing job. Modify the Keep Backups for option to specify for how long you'd like to retain recovery points in the backup repository. Nikivo Backup and Replication allows you to keep up to 4,000 recovery points for each backup job. You can also enable immutability, which is a powerful way to protect the recovery points from ransomware attacks and other unwanted modifications. You can set a custom period to keep immutability active for as long as you need. Immutability is available when you select either local storage, a public cloud platform, or an S3-compatible storage target. To create an additional schedule for this backup job, click Add another schedule. You can view and manage all existing schedules by clicking Show Calendar. Click Next to proceed to the Options step. First, enter a suitable name for this job. Next, assign a job priority level to determine its urgency in a job processing queue. The default value is 5, which is the lowest priority level. Choose your preferred change tracking method for incremental backup. Nikivo Backup and Replication uses proprietary change tracking technology to create fast incremental backups that save time and storage space. Otherwise, you can disable change tracking if you want to create only full backups. You can enable network acceleration to increase data transfer speeds, and enable network encryption to protect the backup data with AES-256 encryption during transmission over the network. You also have the option to enable backup encryption, which encrypts the data at the source before it is transferred to the storage target. Decryption for this feature requires a password. Under Full Backup Settings, specify how often you'd like to create full backups, and select the full backup mode you prefer, either Synthetic Full or Active Full. To learn more about full backup modes, visit the Nikivo Help Center. You can also control what happens if a full backup fails by enabling or disabling the corresponding option. When the option is enabled, Nikivo Backup and Replication creates a full backup on the next backup job run. If you've configured email settings, you can enable email reporting to receive notifications on job completion status. You can also run pre- and post-job scripts by enabling their corresponding options and providing the desired script path. Under Data Transfer Settings, you can limit the number of concurrent tasks to adjust the load on the transporter. The default and recommended value is three concurrent tasks. If you enable bottleneck detection, Nikivo Backup and Replication collects and records logs during data transfer to detect potential bottlenecks. Click Finish and Run to save your changes and run this backup job. 
the backup has been created successfully. You can now create a backup copy job and link it to this file share backup job. Adding backup copies creates redundancy, which adds a crucial layer of protection against data loss. To proceed, select the file share backup job you just created from the jobs pane, then click the plus icon and click backup copy. And complete all the steps of the wizard. A link to the video on how to create backup copies for file shares will appear in the top right corner. After the backup copy job is completed, you can have multiple copies of your NAS backup data stored on different storage media. You can then make one of the copies in the cloud or on a NAS appliance immutable to keep up with the 3211 backup rule. That concludes our Nakivo NAS backup guide. If you found this video helpful, click the like button and subscribe to our channel to catch new uploads. To learn more, Download and install a free trial of Nakivo Backup and Replication which gives you access to all the solutions features for 15 days, including Nakivo as backup.